How's it going everybody? So today's video we're going to be using HP tuners and the MPVI 2 to show you guys how you can read and write with either a JTEC or JTEC Plus vehicle. In this case we're going to be using a Dodge Dakota RT with a V8 5.9 liter Magnum engine. So I'll show you guys how you can use HP tuners to read and then write your file back to the vehicle. This vehicle is untouched so we'll be doing it from scratch step by step. Let's get to it. So if you guys are interested in doing this to a Viper, I do have that content already. I'll link it above here so you guys can check that out and how we did the same procedure on the Viper. But you're gonna need one of these MPVI 2s and you're gonna need a laptop. Also, you will need a USB-C cable that comes with your MPVI 2 unit, so make sure you have that ready to go. And also, I would recommend checking for updates. And in this case, we're gonna be using the VCM Suite Beta since the support for this vehicle was just released um, we're gonna be using beta for this in VCM suite and editor so I am just installing the latest version of VCM suite to see this to make sure you guys are up to date go to help click on help click on about and make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi and it'll check to make sure you're up to date so right now I'm just about to install the latest version and then we'll get started so while that updates, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're doing with the actual unit itself. Make sure your vehicle has a healthy battery or if it doesn't, put it on a trickle charger because you are gonna have the ignition on for a certain period of time depending on how long you're you know, writing or reading or any of that stuff. You definitely wanna make sure that you're not gonna run the battery down and the last thing you would want is for your computer, your PCM to be interrupted during a write process. So just keep that in mind. Also one tip that I would recommend is keep the window down because sometimes some funny stuff can happen when it's flashing and writing to the computer. So keep the window down because your key is gonna be in the ignition. And again, you don't wanna be locked out of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead, open our door, and we're going to plug this into our OBD2 port. Don't mind the dinging, I promise it'll go away in just a second. And we'll plug in our USB-C to that. And since I wanna do this out here, we'll run this out to the vehicle there. At this point, we don't have to turn the ignition on since I'm still showing you guys what to do with the actual software. All right, so this is almost finished installing the latest version and then we can get started. All right, so here we are with the latest version of beta for our VCM editor. So it's gonna give you this disclaimer. We're gonna go ahead and click OK and it's opening up a previous file not that we need it to but whatever you're working on last it's going to go ahead and default to opening up that okay so what you saw me do just there was close the file that it uh it opened which was the last file we we're working on so i just closed that because what i want to see is this little chip with the green arrow read vehicle so we're gonna be clicking on this. So I'll click this. Right now I have the USB cable from the vehicle connected, but the vehicle ignition is off. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this little chip and it's not gonna show us anything because we have to turn the ignition on. So let's go ahead and we'll turn the ignition on. So here we are, we'll reach in. Our wire is connected, USB all the way to our computer. And we'll go ahead and turn the ignition, not start it, but just to the run position. Also not a bad idea to turn off any fan or anything else that might be additional that uh, is running so that your battery doesn't drain down any more than it needs to. And now we can go back to our laptop. Okay, so now we can go ahead and click gather info now that our ignition is on. So here's our vehicle. So it's gathered what it is. We're gonna go ahead and click read. And now it's saying to turn the ignition off, wait three seconds and then turn it back on. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go back over, turn the ignition off. One, two, three. Turn the ignition back to on and go back to our laptop. And it's gonna take about three and a half minutes. So we'll let this run through and it's gonna do our read. All right, so once the read is completed, it's gonna ask you what you wanna save the file name as, and we'll save it. And there you have it. So at this point, this is where the software is 
under your commands to really change a bunch of different parameters. So I mean, you can go under the engine and it's gonna open up what our current file is, the one that we just read. So you guys can poke around, change all sorts of different things. Really, you could spend a ton of time in here, but the purpose of this video is to show you how to read it and how to write back to the vehicle. So go ahead and we will write back to the vehicle. Okay, so we've made a couple changes and now we're going to go ahead and write it back to vehicle. So we're going to click this little chip with the red arrow. And since we've never done anything with this vehicle, it's going to say you do not have the license for this vehicle. So we're going to say show license options since we have to license the file. And since I still have a few more credits remaining, it is going to ask us down here. It's going to specify the vehicle to controller type. And it's also going to say how many credits that it takes. And in this particular instance, it's going to take one credit for this vehicle. And it is going to ask us to license it. It's going to say do not license or this specific one and how many credits. So we're going to say OK. And then it's going to tell us are you sure because once you do this, you cannot undo it. So once we use one credit, that is it. So we're going to say yes. And it's going to ask us if we want to write to this controller and we are going to say write. And just for example, you can see write entire or do not write. This would come more into play if you had different controllers for the engine and transmission on some of the newer vehicles. So you could skip say writing to a transmission controller and just write to the engine. But in our case, we've only got one. So we're going to write entire and then we're going to click write. So then it's going to tell us to turn ignition off. Wait three seconds. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go over, turn our ignition off. One, two, three. Turn it back on. So now it's writing. As you can see, it's going to take about three and a half minutes. So let's let this run through. Okay, so as you can see, it now says completed in green, and it just says to please cycle the ignition. So we'll go ahead and turn it off, turn it back on, and we're done. So we'll turn it off. So that's it. We've written successfully to the vehicle, and we can go ahead and start it. So there you go. She's up, she's running, and we've successfully written to the vehicle. And there you guys have it folks. That is how you read and write to one of these vehicles. So it's pretty straightforward. Only thing to keep in mind is that you usually have to be connected to an internet source so that you can go online to your HP tuners account and purchase credits if you need it. If you uh, already had credits like I did already loaded to your device and you should be good to go. But just keep that in mind. Make sure you're updated to the latest version of the VCM suite so that you're up to date and that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a question or comment down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Or there's usually some other people too that know the answers as well and might get to it faster than I can. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We got a lot more content on the way, on this vehicle, on the Viper, and everything else on the channel. A lot more on the way, so you definitely don't wanna miss it. We'll see you guys in the next one.